The Quest Tracker is a great way for game masters to plan out their games, and also serves as a helpful reminder during future sessions. First, let's access the Quest Tracker by clicking on the Windows button in the editor, then click on Quest Tracker. The window will appear in one of your editor panels, where you can drag it wherever you please. I'm going to hold left click and drag to undock the Quest Tracker and redock it over where I have most of my other panels grouped together. But place it wherever you like. The Quest Tracker is built around two views, the Outliner and the Editor. The Outliner is what players and GMs will see, and where the GM can perform a few quick actions. To access the Editor, naturally we'll need a quest. Let's click on the plus button here to add one, and the editor for that quest will open automatically. This editor window is where the GM will configure their quests in detail. As you can see, there are quite a few options. So let's start by making a main quest for our party. Uh, we'll call it Frame the Mayor which also happens to be a perfectly normal assignment for a band of heroes. We're going to set the category to Main Story. I'm not quite ready for my players to see this quest yet, so I'm going to leave it inactive for now. The status is also incomplete. I will provide a reward to the players once they complete the quest, but I won't tell them what it is. I'm going to set it to 5,000 gold. Now, for the description, I happen to have some copy lying around, and I'm just going to paste this in. This also happens to be the maximum character limit for a quest description. So, you're welcome. I'll summarize. This quest involves framing the mayor for a greater good. So, naturally, we need some objectives, don't we? Click on Add New Objective to create one. And if you click on that objective, we'll see some more options over here on the bottom right corner of the quest editor. The best scandals tend to have some evidence. So let's make that the item my players will need in order to complete this objective. Alright, let's add another one. This will only take a minute. But let's jump ahead and take a look at the outliner now, shall we? You'll see a number of categories here which help the GM organize their quests a little bit. This is purely cosmetic, so feel free to sort them however you'd like. You'll notice that the quest we just created is on display now, and it's under the main story category just as we want it. The quest itself is hidden to players, as are some of its objectives. As the GM, you could either left-click or right-click on the quest, and then click Edit Quest to open the editor and change these options. But there are a few shortcuts available to you on the outliner to make things even easier. Move your cursor to the right of any quest or objective item to see the quick actions pop up. From the outliner, you can toggle items active or inactive, complete items, or fail them. And it looks like I just failed an essential objective, meaning our entire quest has failed. Whoops. No problem. Just right-click on the quest item in the outliner, and select Reset Quest to quickly set everything back to an incomplete state. You could also do this manually in the editor, one item at a time. But be advised, if an objective that is marked as essential is failed, you will be unable to modify its state from the Quick Actions menu. You can also delete quests by right-clicking on them and clicking Delete Quest. You can also do the same for objectives by going into the Quest Editor, selecting the objective you want to delete, and clicking Delete Objective. This action will happen instantly, but if you mess up, don't worry. Just hit cancel 
and you can undo to restore your changes. Whether you're trying to track tasks related to your campaign, write session summaries, or even store private GM notes, the quest tracker will surely come in handy for your next game.